We always work in partnership on these audiences. So we have local residents, the local um, environmental liaison officers come out. We have people from Boucher Fire and Rescue with us. And sometimes we have school children coming out on the events with us as well. On these audits, we're looking at the actual environment of the area. So we're looking at uh, graffiti, rubbish in front of people's houses, street furniture, um, shrubbery, the state of conditions of the highways. And all of these issues, if we are seen, we will then pass them on to the relevant departments, either within Thames Valley Police, whether it's going to be a council issue, where it's going to be a housing issue, or where it could be another agency, housing, property, and we then pass the information on to those and then they will deal with them. The biggest problem we have in our area, precisely this is moment, is a small amount of graffiti and personal household goods being left in front gardens, i.e. mattresses, um, settees, furniture or giant fridges, which still there after a certain amount of time the council will take action, give them advice, there are charges which the council will charge to remove them, but however it does get removed. One of the major successes that we've had in the area that's been going in today's um, environmental and visual audits has been the actual decline in antisocial behaviour in the area due to the fact that we've had various gates and alleyways actually being closed off and fenced off to stop people using these alleyways and the concrete in them. We are actually in the area constantly three times a month now, letting residents know, let them make them aware, get the residents to come out with them and actually take control of the area they live in, get them speaking to ourselves, get us them speaking to the local council, informing us of what's happening in the area so we can drive ourselves forward to actually make the environment they're living in even better than what it is now.